Hi guys, my name is Pushpendra. In this today video, I'm going to explain you how you can draw a path in between two points with the help of Google Map View. And here I will use a library which is given by Google. Here, in the last video, I have explained you how you can draw a line, how you can draw a path with the help of MK Map View. MK Map View is given by the Apple and Google Map View is integrated by the Google. So in last video, I have explained you that topic which is given by the Apple and today video, I'm going to explain you this topic and here our task will be the same. This is my Google map view and here we will achieve the same task. We will draw a path in between two points. One is Delhi and another is Gurugram and we will achieve our task. Same thing we did in the last video and same thing we will do in today video with the help of Google map view. So let's have a look on the programming and achieve our task. So this is my Google map view and here it's class which is uh, added to that view controller. Now I'm installing pod library with cd command go to the particular location and then run pod in it. After pod in it pod install command. Now see new project has been created. So close your existing project and open with the axi workspace close it open that zooming in now i will attach the two library google maps and google place in actual in today tutorial there is no need of google places so just let it be like that pod install now it's installing the libraries into our project installing google maps 3.8.0 installing google place same version see now command shift key and command shift b run this both command to build your project so that we can use the library in our project now attach the view attach the plane view to our view controller so that we can give the class set the constraint 0 0 0 so that we can see the map on the full screen now i will specify the view class gms map view now i will attach the outlet to the google map controller drag and drop map view click on connect now close this file open google map view controller import Google Maps great now we will see the output Google Maps oh Maps SDK is not being initialized via key so here we will define the key first import the Google Maps then Google GMS services dot provider key and this provider key now you can see the complete map on your simulator or your own uh, real device i will tell i will give the link of uh, into the description of uh, where you can get this api key so don't worry about it add uh, few dependency in your info p list google chrome and google maps now add more to library lmfir and uh, swift json because I'm not using HTTP URL session in that. So I will call a service with the help of uh, these library. Great. Same command, command shift K and plus command shift B. Now I'm taking two source loc and, uh, location and destination location my source location is Delhi and my destination location is Gurugram here this is the URL this URL also I will uh, share into my written tutorial now use the AF library Lamo file library AF dot request pass the URL dot response JSON data with compilation handler it will return the response 
now we will validate the response it is valid or not let data equals response dot data if it's true we will follow the task else we will return now I miss the else so write else now we will take the data from the data object oh I missed one column also JSON data equals JSON this is the certify certify JSON library so I, I will pass data now we will add try catch to that catch exception or error error we will pass it give some intent alignment oh I forgot to type let its JSON data first we took print error dot local description now we will integrate the for loop for each over a roots it's as an array so for root in roots now let overview polyline from the routes we will take the overlay of polyline as a dictionary then from the polyline we will take the points as an string now next we will take the path we will create the path actually gms path dot init this is the function of the google maps library and we will pass the points in that fix default value so i will bind it with the if else condition points is not equals to nil then this will and let polyline in same way gms polyline dot init and pass the path inside the init function okay so nil will not work here so okay default value is blank and pass remove that and copy and paste this line over the if else condition now i am setting the stroke color to the polyline first i will set the green polyline dot map equals to self dot map view great now i will take this uh, source latitude and longitude into the variable so that we can use the same latitude longitude for marker over the map because we also need to draw the marker now from uh, destination location marker and source location marker so I will use the same latitude longitude as usual destination long equals 77.2.0 copy and paste and put here ok now I will write the code for the marker source marker equals to gms marker source marker dot title equals to our source is daily source marker dot description the capital of India same like as previous tutorial source marker dot map equal to self map view and I forgot to position self marker dot position equal to CL 2D in CL location coordinate in 2D I will give source location latitude and source location longitude so source marker work has been finished now i will paste and copy this code for destination marker 
I will replace all the value with destination and also latitude longitude with destination latitude uh, latitude or longitude grogram our destination is grogram the hub of industries so as you can see this is very simple phenomena to draw a path but the thing is you need to use the google map api key now we, we are seeing the output and here you can see two marker is here and inside the two marker there is one green line which is created by our programming this is the green line we will do some more highlighted in that polyline dot width stroke width equal to 5 now i will move my camera to the location so that we can see that location here i will pass source marker source location dot position equals to 10 zoom is 10 map view dot animate to the camera now we will see the output again google map wow wonderful now you can see a very big line in between daily to grogram and with proper path as you can see click event also now i will change the color system blue and again i will run the code and i we will see the output in first map this is the map view quit and second map is google map again need to increase that so you can see the proper map with the path here so why uh, thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel and like this so that i can make a new video with the boost energy thank you so much have a great time